So I'm going to work on problem 27. It's a little lengthy with the math. So I'm going to start with that one, and then if I can squeeze it in, I'll do 34 and 36 as requested. So this is chapter 15 in your textbook, Chemistry, Matter, and Change. So first of all, they're asking you about an aqueous solution of sodium chloride. It has a mole fraction of 0.21, and the mole fraction formulas are up here. One is for solvents and one is for solutes. It has a mole fraction of 0.21. What is the mass of sodium chloride dissolved in 100 mils of solution? So either formula will work as long as you place them correctly, but since they gave you two separate ones, let's go ahead and go with what they were using, and we are going to need the solute one, because sodium chloride is a solute, while the water is the solvent. So we're more concerned about the solute because they want to know how many grams. So we're going to start out with that formula. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to use this one here, XB. So we have our solute, and this is the mole. So this is all in moles. The N, just like in PV equals NRT, the N stands for moles. Same thing with this, moles, moles, moles. This is moles of the solvent. These are the moles of the solute. So we're actually going to try to find these, and we're going to put those together and condense it. There's a lot of algebra going on here, so make sure that you um, have brushed up on your skills for the algebra. So let's go ahead and say that this is the NB is going to equal the moles of solute. And if you remember in the problem, they want you to find grams. So we're going to have to convert moles to grams for the solute, for the salt, which our solute is sodium chloride. Then what is that one? Well, that one is going to be your number of moles of solvent. And they did give us the amount of that. They didn't give us moles, but they did give us 100 milliliters of water. So with the 100 mils of water, what we're going to end up doing is converting this to grams, which is really easy. So mils just converts, especially with water, it just converts straight to grams. So we're going to start out with 100 grams. So I just, just that's the quick conversion. It's an estimate. And then... To find moles, we're going to put grams over one mole, and we get that off the periodic table. So water weighs about 18 grams, two hydrogens and one oxygen, and that is going to give us 5.56 moles. So now we're ready to plug that in for our N of A. And then we need our XB, which they gave us. The XB was 0 0.21. So now I'm ready to plug everything in. XB equals NB all over NA. And now from here, it's just algebra. 0 0.21 is substituted in, and I don't know what my NB is. So I'm just going to write NB again, but I do know my NA. I just found it. That's going to be 5.56, and then my NB again. So algebraically, I need to get NB by itself. So I'm going to have to move this over, and to move that over, if I'm dividing, I'm going to have to multiply. So I'll multiply both sides by 5.56 plus NB, and this one the same thing. So I can't really fit it in there, so I'm going to bring it down here. 5.56 plus NB. I'm just going to drink, bring that down. 0 0.21 equals NB. And this will cancel this, so I just have NB on this side. But I do need to start applying some of my math skills here. To solve for NB and get this NB back over here, you're going to distribute your 0.21. So 
So I'm just use, using distributive property. Basically, I call it moving it around. But in math, they call it the distributive property. That's why you had to learn that. So if I go 5.56 times 0.21, that's 1.1676 plus 0.21 times that is 0 0.21 NB equals NB. So I'm almost done. I need to get this NB because there's only 0 0.2 and 0 0.21 NB not a whole NB, I, I'm just going to subtract it out. And then I'm going to do that over here, subtract by 0 0.21 NB. So this cancels. Now I'm left with just 1.1676. That equals NB minus a 0.21 NB, which there's one here, because if I see it, there's one. You do the math on that one, and you end up with 0 0.79 NB. To get rid of this side, you have to divide by 0 0.79. Divide by 0 0.79. That leaves me, this cancels, NB equaling 1.48 moles. Because remember, this is moles of sodium chloride. Well, I'm not done yet. This is just moles. So now I need to change that into grams. Very quick stoichiometry by taking the moles, times it by one, oops, one mole over 18 grams for water. Or sorry, sodium chloride is not 18 grams. Boop, 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 let me fix that. Sodium chloride is going to be 58, not 18, 58.443 grams. So then I go 1.48 times 58.43, and my final answer for NB, totally out of space here, is 86.5 grams of sodium chloride.